Audio thoughts with Prince on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, our Prince Milan Entertainment. We're also available on our Facebook group, which is a Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We're also available on Twitter, it's a P Miller ENT. We are a on Twitter. And uh, welcome to another edition of uh, Audio Thoughts with Prince and uh, subscribers who are watching us for the first time to uh, Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Audio Thoughts with Prince is a debate show. Reviews your opinion comment section as long as we don't insult each other, as long as we don't, uh, you know, discriminate. I think what our let's agree and disagree in the comment section and I know vulgar words and uh, to all our loyal uh, Prince Miller Entertainment family, you know my day ones, big up to you. Salute, salute, makakosha, pasna mimi. So big up to you guys and yeah. So we keep on following uh, yeah, transport and the boss no nya equitara nimunu sepa social media, my streets are wanda, ingawe WhatsApp, ingawe Facebook, ingawe Twitter, and the munu sautara nya yeah, yeah, transport because inya yeah, equity most of us have been affected and the boss without farmba oxen kuna kuna basa kana kuna maaso zaku you need transport not all of us have cars and what in a motor saka to talk with temple through public transport and so we've seen it over uh, the few uh, days the government have been trying to address this whole issue there's no kuti um shika shika in private combis are no longer allowed on the road so pakungo vumizwa uh only combis or mabaz are under zupko or are a partnership near zupko and uh, and the government also introduced uh, the train and this time it's not going anywhere you know we're gonna be using the train whether we like it or not because it is there do your alternative transport you uh, move from one place to another place but it only goes uh only a few areas and you to train uh they have to depend Banyayema Zupo buses and uh, so today which is the uh, 10th of uh, september 2021 his excellency the president uh but have commissioned uh, 50 more uh, buses and uh, which are coming from China. We will know uh, these buses have been coming in batch, in batch numbers and got uh, Zimbabwe just to improve the transport uh, situation. And ED, he actually uh, wrote something on his uh, Facebook account, Emerson Dambuzum Nangago. I'm just going to read what he wrote here and the reactions of my streets towards what he wrote. And uh, the man said, uh, There are those both at home and abroad who do not want Zimbabwe to succeed to these people I say this you will never break the spirit of the Zimbabwean people this is now the sixth fleet of buses that have been commissioned by my government we are rebuilding our great nation as Zimbabwe this is what the man is saying good you know what there are so many people out there but South Africa Botswana the UK the USA who are Zimbabweans who are campaigning and you know who are trying to tarnish the image of the country uh, those guys uh, you never actually break the spirit of us here who are in Zimbabwe who are working day and night to make things happen on the ground and so cut it out in the comment section this is what ed is saying regarding uh, to the current situation in transport because we've seen so many people criticizing the government of banning makombi or banning mshika shika and you have seen again uh the people actually are blaming the government criticizing the government regarding to the uh nrz it's an issue whereby people are saying what matrena asakara matrena as comfortable is over zimbabwe this and that and some people are even comparing zimbabwe and japan just imagine japan and zimbabwe amana panam sana uri you know japan is well developed zimbabwe we are behind we are even comparing zimbabwe and japan let's just compare zimbabwe and south africa we are even behind the sa but sa totally more it developed by Nazima infrastructure compared to Zimbabwe and yeah, so got it all in the comment section. This is the audio thoughts with Prince on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Your views, your comments are welcomed in the comment section. Someone here wrote that uh, a government should not fear criticism but use it to improve and prove themselves. Governance is not about being loved but being progressive and accountable. Love and compassion is for the religion this is what uh someone is writing but you know what uh the government should not fear criticism criticism we've seen it over the years could if you say anything bad about the government no out on the room tengis no out on the offer in Chicago. and again uh, accountability i think don't uh, you know you know some sort of wonder because uh the government they failed to hold people accountable and the people who are 
doing my deals and what are illegal and again uh, only a few people are only benefiting and from this second republic again here these are people are saying you know what a government should be able to hold people accountable and so someone here wrote that uh, even buying a million of passes won't change the fact that zupo monopoly is a macrocosm of how economic institutions in Zimbabwe are ex extractive. This isn't just about efficiency of public transport, it's about restrictions on who can make money from the transport sector. Through this ill-conceived policy, thousands of households are without an income or now have their income controlled by a government parastatal. Extractive economic institutions are part of what leads countries to fail according to experts like Daron Agemu and James Robson who wrote the seminal book Why Nations Fail. We need a society where everyone has a chance to innovate and make profits in our different sectors, not one where the government controls everything. So in our super monopoly people are saying that there are so many families out there uh Vasina income because of uh you need to partner with Zupko and again if you join that partnership you won't know a few weeks ago and I watched my name the Mary budget as poor married the resources of Zupko quite a go go so I'm not going to do remain the do you have control the transport sector people are saying you know what this is bad it's not okay so is this all Zupko monopoly working people are saying uh, in many countries out there we've seen uh, there are private sectors even in the USA there are private sectors on my trains on my buses on my taxis who are actually benefiting who are actually benefiting from that because uh, they are entrepreneurs in Zimbabwe Zupko now controls the transport sector so people are saying you know what this is bad this is why most nations fails because of monopoly because of government want to restrict itself government wants to make money and if you really look closely there are some other bingers who are actually benefiting from this whole zupko monopoly this is what people are saying on my streets regarding to the whole situation and so someone here wrote that uh, most of these people are the nobodies who doesn't even have identity they are busy trying to pull down every zimbabwean progress but this will never happen we will defend our legacy forever we are seeing a lot of developments you are doing your excellence and to be honest we are pleased by that as the youth we will continue supporting you and defend our integrity ed number one and so not all people have uh, negative thoughts regarding to the whole situation some are even positive they say what ed is doing a lot and i got a vsm zimbabwe remember with the men one three years jet about pachikaro and the man is doing a lot uh airport to go aqua a parliament to go aqua my bazaar go each and every time so it it is trying his best the second public is trying his best to restore sanity in zimbabwe negatory because this is a debate show that's why it is order thought with prince on prince united seven tv cut it out in the comment section let's agree and disagree some people are against uh, this whole situation of super monopoly other people are saying you know what uh, this is good because it will control sanity in the transport sector we all know good macombe i'm going to up on apple but there's no there's no macombe are cheaper six star tjs you can move from fakosa to harare and again kwa ne train you go so one choice you choose i would do the when i train here can actually buzz the zupo so you are worried so guys let's discuss in the comment section and you can remember no vulgar words and answer to canning and such or any they just agree and disagree in the comment section this is uh all the thoughts with prince on prince united seven tv ed just commissioned another 50 fleet of buses which are gonna be added in harare and blower to help in to ease any air transport bonus wanna say Sorry, and thank you very much for listening and watching all the thoughts with prince on prince united seven tv your comments your support always always appreciated and it goes but now me miga apana so i can say peter more and so your support means a lot so thank you very much for listening and watching all the thoughts with prince on prince men entertainment tv remember guys to turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads we upload each and every day here on your favorite channel uh prince men entertainment tv thank you very much for listening and watching all the thoughts with prince bless up